One year ago, I created this. Oh sh A seemingly endless void that should have led to this player's death, but instead... Where are you, bro? What's that? Bad, 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 bad. <laughs> However, after months of innovation, I had realized the true potential of these items and designed the perfect upgrade that will leave this entire server in a void. But I promise, there's a logical reason why I waited this long. You see, Life Seal's currently in a trap war, where players have been building some of the craziest machines to eliminate each other. Are we Fortnite trolling? Like, Maypick, who had made a death trap under my own base. Except I think it's time to redeem myself by applying this design to the server's spawn. First, I need two essential items, one of those being item frames. They're not too difficult to craft, but I'm gonna need a ton to finish this project before Life Steal's next session. So instead of hunting for cows in the wild, I'm gonna borrow some from these players without letting them know. Is everyone here? I feel like I'm almost I feel like... Okay, I'm the animatronic. The only problem is that it's her birthday birthday party right now. And if anyone sees me mingling with these cows, they might get a little suspicious. So I need to find an opportunity to escape. But I felt like something else was up. Now to make sure that everybody gets one cake and there's no stealing, I have made a cake lining up area. Hey, don't, don't cut, don't, don't cut, cut Hey, I'm not cut cut Little did I know, that chance to leave would come sooner than later, because turns out, it wasn't her birthday. Why do you uh, look like that? What? Why do, what do I look like, like what? what? Wait, oh what just happened? My god! Oh my god! Oh my god! We did not get cake. If I had been hit by a single arrow, I would have died. But I can't stay looting for long because this is my opportunity to pull off the cow heist. Ignore me, birthday. No, what the? No, no. I successfully transferred the cows to my base, but only four survived the travel. So I'm gonna need to expand my wheat farm by a couple acres if I want to get enough leather for the leather hole. That's at least what I'm calling it for now, because my goal for when I cover the entire island is to recreate the trap I made a year ago, but place tons of them all across the island. However, we still gotta worry about the second item, maps. I'm on my testing server right now, and as you can see, without maps, this whole trick looks stupid. But if you cover the entirety of a map with one solid color, it creates the void-like illusion when placed in the item frame. You can literally build whatever you want, and it'll show up on every single one. Hey, maybe you should press that. The only problem now is finding an easy color to make, and I chose white. Last time I had to choose it because it needed to blend in. However, that meant I had to fill a 128 by 120 28 area with over 16,000 snow. To be fair, all I need is snow and a pumpkin, but it took almost half a week of shoveling snow to get enough. We only have seven days till Life Seal's next session, and that's gonna be my only chance to trap everyone. Luckily, instead of breaking thousands of shovels, I could design my own automatic snow farm, but someone arrived. Oh, damn. Okay, 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 okay. Zam is very close with Maypick, the same player who made this death trap below me, but he's not causing any problems and it's almost time to test the auto snow 9000. Okay, so my AFK machine actually doesn't work. I'm gonna have to make a lot of uh, stone shovels now. This was a pretty sad setback, and I knew between breeding the cows, cutting trees, farming sugarcane, and now collecting snow, I needed some help. You're gonna wanna see this one. I called my teammate Planet to come help me with this project, but he hasn't seen what I've done to the base. What the heck? What am I hearing? Do you like it? Oh, what am I looking at? It's cows city. Obviously, he wasn't too thrilled about the changes, so that's because I hadn't told him what I was planning, so I hopped on my test server to show this. Walk in here. Oh, this is like actually like the void. You saw how it looks when you're inside of that room, right? Imagine oh this, God. but the entire spawn island. If you use like a sign or something, right? You can just put a little item frame over it, cover up with a map, and ah! boom. Sorry, I fell into the trap. That's like a recreation of like if, if, if I fell into the trap. Once we cover it all up, we can make so many different fall traps on the island so like when everyone like starts to walk on it they think they're safe all of a sudden players are just gonna start dropping into these random Wait, that's actually hilarious okay. traps oh shoot i found so you're gonna die while planet breeds the cows let me tell you how you can actually trap me using this exact design because recently recreated the lifesteal public server where you can fight players raid bases and of course steal hearts now i will admit it would be pretty challenging to do all of this on 
there with a thousand other players online, but it would also be pretty funny. So the IP is on screen and feel free to hop on and try to kill me. Since I automated one step of the process, I think it's time to automate the rest by first building a bamboo farm. Now I never actually built one of these before, which you could probably tell. Oh no, this is ugly. This is actually atrocious. Oh my God, I love it. But at least my sugarcane farm was an improvement. All that's missing now is a collection system, but I may have to finish that later. What the fuck? We would like the Squiddo location. Well, that's a little real, be honest. Bro, you think I know where Squiddo is? See, you can probably figure it out. It's not that hard, is it? What more will I know than you guys? If the leather uh, hole is real. I literally had nothing to give them. And the fact that Maypix somehow knew what the leather hole was concerned me quite a bit. But they ended up threatening my life to do this. Welcome to the theater. Please take a seat. We've got, <laughs> we've got a show for you. Why is there a witch? Uh, I don't fucking know. I could be grinding snow right now, but in Instead, I'm helping Maypick distract this player while Zam comes up from behind and TNT minecarts him. Please hit the lights. Thank you. Let's start with show number one, the, the birth of Brandon. Honestly, I don't know how this can be considered a trap when we're doing stuff like this. Ah! <laughs> but Mapix said that when he gives the cue, Zam shoots the cart and we all start attacking. The only problem is that I don't know the cue. This is one more bad act and I'm rushing the stage. I'd like yeah. to thank one specific crowd member tonight, and his oh. name is, um, Abraham. Who's Abraham? What do you mean, who's Abraham, bro? Wait. Wait, 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 I know what that means. <laughs> Minute, you're, you're, about about you're, you're about to get You're not John You're about to get Lincoln. Oh, we are John Wilkes Booth. I won't lie, I was excited to steal some gear for the leather hole, and it would just be a shame if we all died. Um, he's being sus right now. Sus, sus meters. Right now. Sus meters are increasing. Sus meter going off. Sus meter going off. Sus meter going off. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> now, I could have gone down there and helped Mapix survive, but let's just say he made a noble sacrifice. However, I'm not only worrying about the session coming in six days, but now Mapix's next visit. And I'm starting to think the snow farm won't cut it. However, there's no reason I should go off a white map, though. There's other options, right? All that I do know is that it's, it has to be a block I can get super fast and enough to fill up like four and a half double chest of. So, all right, we're back on test server. So you can see the map right there. We're gonna quickly change this map to like just a random block. Let's do, let's just do grass. This grass block. What would that look like? Oh, I sucked it up. Oh, wow, that does not feel great. Wait, hold on a second. You know how like blue light hurts people's eyes? The only problem with making it all blue is the fact that this is all diamond blocks. So first on my mind is, of course, dirt. Um, Actually, I do not want this to look like a shit stain. What about cherry leaves though? Oh, 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 Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I think we're on to something. <laughs> Holy. Wait, that's awesome. Wait, cherry leaves would be amazing. What else what I do like cherry leaves seems like the answer but now you have to get a billion cherry leaves. I have to get 4.5 double chests of cherry leaves wait remember the cherry forest I made like first week of the server oh yeah it's literally still here so I crafted some shears and got straight to work because the sooner we get these leaves the sooner we can start building um, I'm not entirely sure how long it's been. It's been like probably an hour and a half and I already have literally all the leaves I'll need. Now, okay, my forest doesn't look that bad. Oh, yeah, that's, that. oh God, yeah, that's ugly. But we also have to figure out where we want to build this. Oh, we do have this like ocean behind us. Let's make the map uh, go this way. I kind of did it right, yeah. Most of that is water, so I'll, that, that's good. Except not only would I have to cover this entire space with leaves, but I also have to build it as a staircase because maps are very strange. You see, if I built it flat like so, it would make a much darker shape and we want this thing to stand out. However, I recently discovered a plugin that I installed on my test server that allows you to upload images as maps. Obviously doing this on Lifesteal would be basically impossible to pull off, but I gotta admit, Making a fake netherite beacon would be pretty funny. All right, it's been like two and a half hours, I think. But yeah, look at that. That is the entire thing right there. I want to see how this is going to look. Oh my God, bro. That is so funny. Hold on, let's get another one. However, I originally believed duplicating a map only needed a cartography table and paper, but sadly... Oh, 
that's not gonna do it. Oh, I, w I really thought it was just gonna be paper. If I do this, oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna need so many maps, bro. Not only that, like I think I'm fine with the sugar cane, but like it's just the amount of compasses I'll need. Hold on a sec. I think we can make our first infinity room. Oh my God, bro. What is this? You can't see anything. But now I need to get an absurd amount of maps and item frames. Luckily, my cow farm should produce enough leather, but we still have everything else to worry about. So I once again called Planet asking for help. He really didn't want to breed the cows anymore, except I had an idea to convince him. Or actually, I have a little game for you, all right? Because I, I noticed that you stopped breeding all the cows. Sorry, I think I'm you need a little bit more motivation. Because right over here, <laughs> we have a little game. Oh, it's oh, Squid Game, this. Planet Lord. It's Squid Game. Just like that scene from Squid Game, his goal is to get to the other side, but I've placed the maps on trap doors, with some of them closed and some of them open. You have three tries to do this, and if you lose, you have to you have to breed my cows indefinitely. But okay, if but you, you, know what I, you know what I think about that? What? Stop! 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 Get away from me! Get away from me! Planet! it! Now I thought it was unbeatable because I closed them at the end. However, I forgot that F3 was a feature. All right, Planet, let's shake on it. No, 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 that's not shaky, that's not shaky, that's not shaky. Left or right, left or right, which one is gonna be, Planet? Ooh! Which one would I do, Planet? Oh! Yeah. Wait, did I forget to rig it? What? Did I forget to rig it? Sadly, that means I'm on my own for the rest of this. Except now, I need to calculate how many maps I'm actually gonna need. Because I'm trying to cover all of spawn, and it will be really awkward if I only get enough for a couple trees. You can um, use a calculator app. No, that's not gonna be helpful planet lord realistically i'm gonna have to do all of like the facing down blocks i'm gonna have to do all the side blocks from this side then all the ones from this side then all the ones from this side and then all the ones from below i have to oh, do literally yeah. everything planet despite that i went on my test server to count every single side do oh do i get it because it's it's pink you want to repeat that this is already a stack of maps hey Stop. This is already a stack of maps if I just do this little bit right here. And this is only facing up. So I decided to wing it and go for two entire double chests of maps and item frames each. Obviously, I needed an iron farm, but more specifically, one that could get me the right amount of iron in only four days. However, the math wasn't too promising. I have to kill 7,000 cows. That's uh, something I need to think about. 7,000 times four is how much iron I'm gonna need. Say if we use the easy Minecraft 1.20 easy iron farm, 330 per hour, I would have to build that right now in AFK like consistently for like the next couple of days. And that will give me no time to actually like uh, place it as well. So can't do that. Okay, 1300 per hour. That's a massive improvement. 22 hours. If I build this low key, that would probably work. Like this is a very easy list, but the hard part is the villagers. We're gonna have to somehow get them all over. But I'll worry about that later. For now, we need to dig out a pretty good sized hole for the iron golems to be pushed by this water through these wooden gates down a very good sized hole. This is where I'll be AFKing so that I can collect the loot from the golems dying in the lava that I'll eventually place on these signs. Now we need to dig out where the villagers will be trapped because to make them constantly spawn golems, we need to trap a zombie next to them like so. However, we now have four empty rooms that are supposed to hold 12 villagers in total. We currently have zero. So I ran to a player's base, kidnapped the oldest, and move them to their new beautiful home yes all right it only required a stack of bread it'll take a bit to get enough villagers but while i waited i expanded the sugarcane farm the wheat farm and the cow pen i think my goal is to breed enough cows that the entity number up there reaches like 1300 or 1400 and then i'm gonna jump in here and just start massacring like ma massacring it's not a pleasant word I i'm gonna start killing a bunch of cows basically but with leather you need sticks and my bamboo farm sucks so i decided to go back to regular old forging the only difference however is that i built a water elevator so i could reach the top quicker i repeated this process until all of the farms were farmed and i needed to afk so i booted up among us little did i know this was actually the worst possible time to do this because he finally paid his visit cut it out i'm playing him. Oh, shit. cut hey, it out. Okay, okay, I got Among Us playing in the background. Okay. Smoke, just go back in the door, and then we can talk Stop. about this when you finish your Among Us game. Just go back in the door. Just go back, back in the, the door, door, and then we can Stop. finish the Among Us game. Get out of here. They don't know about my secret escape tunnel. 
Oh, oh, I know about a secret escape tunnel, though. I knew it was me picking Zam, since their invis immediately ran out. But after what happened earlier, I knew that I wouldn't leave this place alive if I didn't do this. <gasps> oh! With Mapic down there, I thought I could risk the fight until I noticed that they were trying to spawn trap me. What the fuck did you do to my villagers? I need those. Cut it out. We're not fighting the farm. Uh. Dude, not in the farm. Stop. Not okay. in the farm. Luckily, the resistance beacon I made was saving my life, but it was only a matter of time before they would break that too. So I need to figure out their weakness. They don't know about the secret tunnel, all right? Is that actually a real thing? Because now I know about I it. I don't have Depth Strider. Well, Maypig probably shouldn't have revealed that. It's not expect what I'm about to do. What? Like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you doing? But wait, 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 Guys, wait, 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 if you want to get me, you're going to have to do this. Die. Who? Who broke it? But now with Zam here, I needed to head to the ocean to escape. Wait, Zam, if we go this far and then we kill him, he's gonna respawn back at the base. What's the plan? Now that they had a boat, I decided to do a 180 straight back to my base so I could hopefully escape through the nether portal. Oh, wait, I, I'm, I'm in the nether. I'm waiting for him. Don't worry. Despite their efforts, I managed to survive. But with a target on my back and three days left, I needed to lock in by purchasing XP pots from their villagers. Why are you here? I'm getting XP pots. Man, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> All right, bro. Look at me. You're gonna get a taste of this if you hey. get out of here. Hey! Don't do it. Ah! Oh. Take these and leave. What the Ew. f- just take these what? and leave. I don't like what? you. Just so go the fuck away. I finally returned to my base, which definitely needed some fixing. But regardless, I had finally acquired enough villagers for the farm. I first needed to get them in boats so I could transfer them to the pods. But I ran into a couple problems. Oh my god, what the f***? Where are you going, fuck loser? Holy f***, you're bricked up! Folk, I need help, bro. I need video help. Bro, I need help. Holy f***. The funniest part is that I yelled the least when half of my villagers got infected. No. It's okay, though, since I had extras. Yeah, there's... <gasps> Fuck! I dropped the last two down anyways and threw them some bread for good measure. With the iron farm working, I was able to focus completely on breeding, forging, and sugarcane until I eliminated them all. Okay, I think we got all of them. Well, almost all of them. There's a lot of babies that I don't really care about. What matters is that I think we got enough leather. Look at that. Two double chests of item frames. That is ridiculous. All that's left are the maps. And remember how we had an iron problem? Yeah, we now have a redstone problem. So after mining for three hours straight and two nights of AFKing, we had two entire large double chest of maps. Sure, I missed the session, but most people did because I forgot about Thanksgiving. So luckily for us, we have the chance to place all of these maps tonight when nobody should be online to catch us. And tomorrow morning, the players will wake up to a masterpiece. Yes, I know I'm saying us because Planet recently died to Mapic and he wants to get some revenge. Oh my god, you have absolutely nothing. Uh, bro, shouldn't we do this before a session? I'm not wait waiting another week, bro. So without much time to spare, we unloaded the maps and frames into the shulkers and carried them to spawn. Oh yeah, this is a nice view of spawn. All right, plan to look up at the camera. Hey, camera. We're gonna start off with the item frames and then, yeah, it'll be like a slow, steady reveal. Placing started out well, but we quickly realized that even with a double chest of item frames, we didn't have enough to cover the entire island. So we settled for the main portion where players respawn. Okay, this actually Wait, is gonna be sick. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, this is exciting. And while I grabbed some last minute materials, Planet began working on the first of many traps. Oh yeah, let's cover it up first. We're actually gonna accidentally fall into this. Oh my god, did you fall in? Um, no. No way. <laughs> no, this is this is actually gonna work, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? After that, Planet had to head to sleep while I was left alone placing maps until oh maypec why are you here um, why are you here oh my god spoke <laughs> what did he make oh my god <laughs> you see the vision? i see the vision stop the vision right now Wait, right i can't here. play it's not that bad it's stop. not that bad it looks kind of pretty what i didn't realize was that when the entire island is loaded on your screen your frames reach single digits what hey it's a it's a, oh <laughs> it's a work in progress why, why? It's a work in progress. Oh, Dude, my FPS is at okay. 30. There are 7,000 entities on my screen. <laughs> All right, well, are you guys just going to sit there or you want to help me? I want to kill you. I'm killing 
Oh, yeah, don't, watch out for the leather hole. It honestly seemed like this would be the end, but Maypick hadn't learned of my secret. Why should we not stop this, bro? Maypick, do you remember a year ago when we tried trapping Pangy with that, like, invisible block trap? This is not revenge for a year ago, bro. <laughs> That's right. I never cared about this stupid trap war. I never even cared about proving myself as the best troller because I am. The one thing I wanted to do was bring Maypick back to troll the same player we failed to trap one year ago. And finally together, we can finish my master plan. God. Check this out. Yo! Slowly but surely, our traps began to perfectly blend what? in. Oh my god, that was funny as fuck. Where is Spencer? I can't find him. <laughs> as it got later into the night, they began to log off. But after a couple of hours, I'm like patching up the last few blocks. But for the most part, this just looks crazy. Oh my god, every time I look. Jesus, bro. It is so glitchy from afar. I finally got to sleep. But when I woke up, I got some pretty good clips. Okay, in order to know about the leather hole, you have to embrace the leather hole. What? Welcome to the leather oh, hole. Oh my <laughs> god. What is, what is that? Why? Who? What? Okay. Okay. This is terrible. Yo, Pentar. Okay. Wow. Don't, You're not gonna, gonna like it. Hole. You're not gonna, gonna go like it. Hole. You're not gonna like I'm, it. I'm, what's the dumbass? <laughs> Come down. <laughs> this water. No, no, JPEX. 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 <laughs> Why is there so many random ones? And we even got Pangy to log on one year later. Is this still about that JPEX kill? You killed JPEX? Oh, I did not know you killed JPEX. Uh, <laughs> Feel free to meet us at the spawn what platform. The what the f Oh, <laughs> oh, Pingy! Wait, you put you random take, holes in it? You gotta take the, the leap! <laughs> Whoa! Ah! Oh no! You know I what's crazy is we did the nether outside too. Oh, I asked me picking Minitech to make their ah! own portals in No! <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. Even though Panky managed to survive again, he now knows Maypick and I are prepared and eager to get our revenge. But if you're recommended as Stinky, you should click on this video, The Wither War, which showcases the most chaotic and destructive era on Lifesteal. Anyways, goodbye!